Starting next year, some changes go into effect for Kroger employees. The company will be requiring employees to get COVID, to get the COVID-19 vaccine or pay more for their health care and lose out on sick pay. Fox 59's Max Lewis spoke with legal experts about this policy who say the company is on firm legal ground. Kroger is one of the largest employers in the country and the sixth largest in Indiana. And starting next year, the company will require its employees to be vaccinated or lose out on certain benefits. And if the employees don't like it, they can go someplace else. That's, that's the way um, the capitalist system works. Kroger isn't alone in making such a move. Delta Airlines made a similar policy change by charging unvaccinated employees $200 a month extra for health insurance. They also will not get paid if they get COVID-19 and need to take time off. I think a lot of these large employers are, are tired of having COVID interfere with production and supply and all that, and they're going to require that people be vaccinated as a condition of employment. Kenneth Dow-Schmidt is a professor of labor and employment law at the IU Maurer School of Law. He says it's a pretty settled legal issue because getting the vaccine is technically not a mandate. This is not a mandate. This is basically the employer saying uh, you can stay unvaccinated if you want, but you're going to bear the cost of it. Law professor Dan Orenstein agrees and doesn't see much room for legal challenges. I do have to provide alternatives if you have a medical or religious exemption. But other than that, um, no, you're, you're really uh, you're in or you're out. Both professors say Kroger is likely jumping on board early and this will likely be more common practice in 2022. I would expect that we're going to see a lot more. Uh, particularly large employers do this now. Uh, the bill for a hospitalized unvaccinated patient is, is you know tens of thousands of dollars potentially. So that's why they're they're really interested in doing this. In Indianapolis, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. This only applies to salaried employees and managers enrolled in a health plan. Unionized employees and hourly employees will not be charged any fees if they're not vaccinated.